As Americans continue to wrestle with lingering high prices and mounting credit card debt, financial advisors as well as America's moms and dads say it is important folks to stick to a budget. Well, now a practice called loud budgeting is helping some people to do just that. And it all started with a video posted on TikTok as a joke. CBS Money Watch reporter Megan Cyril is here in Studio 57. Okay, Megan, what is this loud budgeting? Uh, what does it mean? And are there any other trends that are picking up in this way? Loud budgeting is a trend that's gained a lot of traction on social media, most notably TikTok. And it's described as the antidote to quiet luxury, which is aspiring to a, a sort of celebrity lifestyle mm -hmm. and investing in expensive uh, clothing and, and um, restaurants and meals and, and whatnot. Loud budgeting is being proud to announce and to state up front that you're on a budget. So yeah. this, this creator on TikTok gave the example of when a friend invites you out to dinner, say, no, I can't afford that, so I'm not gonna go with you. It can be perceived as rude, but, but the bottom line is it's being upfront about um, wanting to be frugal. Yeah. Being frugal. Exactly. I, I don't know if this is a typo or a trend. Uh, is there something called seek budgeting or seek bud? No, I there's heard, not. I haven't heard of seek budgeting, but there are. This there is are... a typo, not a trend, people. Uh, <laughs> so we're, we've gotten to the bottom of that. Uh, so, but why? <laughs> it's one thing to announce your budgeting uh, on, on TikTok, but then, and I think this is the source of the typo, but you may then want to seek financial advice to help you budget on said TikTok. Why? That, that's why, right. why would you think that's the, like, why? Well, one complaint from older generations is that young people don't pay atten enough attention to pocketbook issues. And so a lot of uh, members of Generation Z and millennials are turning to TikTok for financial advice. A study found that 80 percent of, of members of those generations turn to TikTok or, or YouTube or social media as opposed to a family member or a certified financial planner. And, and so these sort of creators are meeting younger people where they are. Loud budgeting is one trend that, that we've seen take off. There are a couple others. One's called Frugal February, which ah, is the idea of buckling sense. down in the beginning of the year. And then there's the 100 envelope challenge, which is also picking up. And it's a way to um, save over the course of days, uh, over the course of 100 days, you stuff you know, $1 in an envelope on day one, $99 on, oh, on cool. uh, day 99, and you can save yeah. over $5,000. Of course, it doesn't um, make as much sense to do something like that, and it, given the transition we've made to a cashless society. It's yeah. slightly impractical. Yeah. And Going uh, to the ATM is not something that's going to work for Gen Z. <laughs> No. <laughs> right. No. And, and of course, if your money's just stuffed in envelopes, it's not yeah. earning interest like it would in a savings account. Makes sense. Uh, so there are some downsides to these uh, tips that are uh, going viral. I like thank it. Megan Thrula, thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks so much.